Okay, I'm recording then. Um, Keith's here. Um, okay, so what... You I guess me? Yeah, we can hear you. So yeah. I, I guess starting out is we had a little bit of discussion yesterday, and we just kind of went over some basic requirements and just kind of flushed out a couple things. Um, I started working on some of the equations um, because I'm really bad at organization, so I was leaving that up to Jen. <laughs> Um, but I'm, I'm, I can, I can come up with some equations. Um, we kind of fluffed out some stuff. One thing we talked about was how, when we come up with equations, it doesn't need to be like a real world equation. It can just be, you know, X plus Y equals Z, you know? Um, and so we were kind of sticking with that a bit on just making equations that fit our game, but don't necessarily fit in the real world. You know, we're not, we're not making a simulator here. We're just making a game. Um, mm -hmm. If you guys have had time to look over the document, Jen and Scott and a few others have been really in depth on that, which has been real nice. Um, I guess starting off before before Jen comes in because she's kind of our team lead, I would say. Um, what what questions or concerns do you guys have? Um, I guess my biggest thing is just because um, on the because I've I've just been like going through. The document that has the requirements on it and like nitpicking I, I mean I guess just like reviewing the document that we have and um, and comparing it just to make sure that we have everything and that's but, perfect we want that um, anyway, but in the requirement for the assignment everyone's supposed to put in like what they did to um, what they did to contribute and there's some people that have just barely joined so we need to give them something to do so they can also yeah. submit their part you know um yeah we asked we asked the professor about that because we had already gotten a lot of it done he said just let them do any of the end user stories just write descriptions um, okay so if you guys don't have anything to do or don't have a task just jump on the form and start writing the description even if it doesn't fully fit we'll adjust it and change it as go just get something there like looking down you know view map we need something for that how uh travel you know we need a description for that and if you're not mm -hmm. sure, ask us um, how to find weapons. We haven't even talked about that yet. Um, I don't think we have quite a puzzle yet, but um, you know, and, and you know, I have the equations for fighting down, but I don't have a way to put. That. <laughs> I'm not very good at describing that in human terms. So, uh, if someone wants to translate some of my stuff into a more uh, readable version, we could do that, or ask me and translate for me. That would be perfect. You know, um, maybe we can just like assign you know, a couple people to work together to do that kind of stuff. Yeah, we could like, sign a little uh, task group. These two people or these three people go over and do all the descriptions. Make sure they make sure they're all done. Yeah, I think that would be better just to keep it more organized. Well, um, I've been going through and I kind of, I didn't know what else to put on there, I guess. And so I just started well, going through and um, I, I've been just editing the grammar on, you know, or making comments because Jen had said not to, not to change the document yet for some reason. And so I just have, we just been wanted to make sure that side, we were but. all on the same page. We're working on stuff because there are some aspects we've kind of already tweaked a bit and there's mm -hmm. just some things that people aren't clear on, but Mackenzie, why don't you spearhead making sure all the description stuff are filled out? Uh, that can be doing it yourself or assigning it. If you go through and, and just and say, Hey, can you do this? If they say yes, right on the document, you know, down here where like, let's say if you got someone to do, um, the travel new planet just put there so and so is working on it and once they get it done they can add it or give it to you do you would you oh. be willing to do that yeah i can do that okay is what we have so one thing that i had a question about like some of them and i kind of put some questions on the document because some of them i wasn't sure you had already talked about it because i watched your video and so it, it, some cut, of the it did cut off a big section of it that we missed i'm, I'm really sorry oh. about that oh, okay yeah, so some of the some of them I like was like I'm not sure like I just had some gaps that I wasn't sure about. So I asked some questions, but maybe we can go over some of those things. Okay, yeah. Um or do you wanna Quick thing just back is with, with Natalie, I was talking to you a second ago. Do you wanna make sure to stay on the requirements and make sure that we get every requirement fulfilled? And if there's a requirement that we're getting away from or we're not getting fulfilled, make sure we stick that. Can that be a task you'd wanna do? Yeah, I'll go through that and then I'll also just go make sure that all of the 
the writing make sense and do like more of like the editing. Editing would be perfect, yeah. And um, then that way at the very end I can just make sure that everything's spelled correctly and everything. Yeah. Okay, um, uh, so back back to you, Mackenzie. You want to just kind of go through each one and give an overview of, of where we're at for it? Um. Well, the ones that are not, where it says, like, description needed, do you want, like, whoever's working on that description to just make it up, or do you have um, some ideas already in place? Some we have ideas, some we don't. And this is this is the spiritual aspect of the project. So, right, a lot of it's not going to be fully developed yet. We just want to have an idea of what we're going to do. Uh, but some of them we do have ideas. Uh, so... We can go over that a little bit. So kind of the way the game is set up is we have a, a map. I think it's down here. Did we delete it? Uh, maybe it got deleted. Um, but we've kind of had a few ideas for maps. And it's going to be basically, you're, not the, you're never going to see a visual of a map. But think of it just like on Battleship where you have a grid. And each spot is a different planet you can travel through. And you'll be traveling those till you get to Earth. That's kind of our concept of, of our map. Okay. That, that's just kind of in in the game for for traveling um but so traveling whenever you travel to plan it consumes fuel it's just a straight up number traveling minus five fuel uh for example there's no equation or anything it's just every time you travel it takes fuel so if you don't have fuel you have to gather more fuel um you do this by quote unquote traveling to a planet so whenever you're at a planet you're just at it you're not actually going to have your character walk around and search and stuff it's very very static because we're trying to keep it simple so when you're at a planet you can say um i forget the keyword but you'll, you'll type something in and you'll use that to gather feel uh, your, your character will give a little description saying he wanders off into the canyons to look for feel or whatever and then it'll it'll have a chance for you to run into an alien um, originally we talked about that uh, whenever you have a chance to run an alien, you have, to, you have to fight and defeat that alien. After you defeat the alien, you have a chance to gather fuel. And this makes it so you can't just sit there and gather fuel in, in, in forever, you know, uh, because you'll fight enough aliens that they'll defeat you, and then you, you will spend too much time gathering the fuel. Uh, when you gather fuel, we have an equation on trying to gather fuel. You're trying to get lower than a certain number based upon the planet, but still get as high as possible to gather the most amount of fuel. Makes it makes it a little, a little tactical. Um... I had an idea I wanted to bring up that, um, sorry, text message, um, that at the same time we might have it so when you encounter your random alien that instead of just straight up fighting it, you have a chance to either be, to befriend him or fight him. Uh, I was just thinking of, of just a straight up 50-50 chance, uh, it can be a like you'll be presented with a thing, an alien that looks like this comes in front of you and then um it'll roll you know it'll randomize it for if it's friendly or hostile or you roll for it or whatever and then if if it's friendly nothing bad happens you can go on to gather feel if it's hostile you have to defeat it to move on if it defeats you you lose the game um does that kind of make sense yeah we are going to have weapons we haven't yes. come up a way to find or gather weapons uh, we think it can be implemented very easily. Just different plants will have them. You would tape. You would type that weapon's name to equip it. When you equip it, it would unequip all their weapons. It could be logically done within the coding. So I think it's something we were putting in. Um, weapons will have different stats per se, which will be its attack and damage. Keep it simple. Uh, I was also thinking certain aliens could have weakness to weapons, which means that those weapons do extra damage or extra attack to it. Makes it so you might want to equip certain weapons or in certain situations. Um, we really didn't have puzzles per se. It was just a straight up you try and roll and gather it and you have to input a number to stay under it. So I guess it's it's kind of like you manning the drills. Um, which I have down here. I'll try and explain my code a little bit better. It's... Uh, gather feel... Yeah, um, so the equation here, you would roll a, a, it would roll a d20, a d20 just means dice with 20 numbers on it, so the, the system would roll a number between 1 and 20. Um, it would add that to a user input of 1 to 10, basically how effective do you want your drill to be, and then it would minus the surface hardness. So let's say 20 plus 10 plus 10 would equal 10. If that's below the, the planet uh, depth, 
you gather that you gather that amount of fuel. So if you always roll one, you'll probably almost always gather fuel, but you won't gather very much. You might have to do multiple attempts, which will increase the amount of times you run into aliens. So you want to get as close to that surface depth number while staying under it. Does that make sense? Yeah, it yeah. does. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I feel like I'm talking a lot. <laughs> no, this is good. Thanks for the explanation. Okay. Um, the battle one, I have, I made a um, a prototype. I think will be a lot easier to see. I'm going to run that for you guys. Um, and I think that would be easier. So here's just an example. Can you guys see that? Fine. Please make attack light or heavy. Yes. Uh, this is all going to need to be adjusted heavily. The numbers are way off. Basically, I win every time. But light's attack is more accurate. Heavy attacks is less accurate, but does lots more damage. So if I do light attack, um, it did it did my roll of 43 versus the alien's defense of 20. That means it's hit. He took two damage. He has eight health left. The alien attacks back. He hits me. I take two damage. He does the same type of roll. Uh, I have 98 health left. Do you want to do another another attack, light or heavy? I would do that again. Heavy. Um, I hit. He took damage. He's down to four. I do light. He has two. I do light again. I beat him. Yay. Uh, that's just a, a prototype, an example of a, a battle. It'll be much more in-depth than that. We'll have descriptions and a little more fluff, as I call it, you know, to it. But that would be kind of how a battle against Alien would would go. Um, obviously, the numbers need to be adjusted. But is that kind of better than that big, long line of, t of text I gave you guys? Um, let me see. I think you know it, it. It makes sense, but then at the same time, I think we do need to like, uh, like you were saying before, just kind of like write it out in simple form. You right, know, right. We so definitely I think need to do it'll that. make a lot more sense. Then, yeah. I think too, it's like for me, this is like one of the first times I've ever been exposed to Java. So all of that text was like, I have no idea what that's doing. Yeah, I was just throwing <laughs> so, it down for you guys to play with it if you wanted to. I didn't mean to be necessarily part of the document. You guys could copy and paste that yeah, and run and the that's, Java. That's great because I mean, like I said, I've never even like, like all of this would have been something that I would have never been able to come up with, but I also oh. don't really understand it a ton. So I think it'll be good if like we assign someone to work with you as a partner and then you can kind of like little by little go through this and I think that's a great idea if you know? anyone wants to take what I've put and put it into human language that'd be perfect mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it'll be good to, to like because I mean we don't have to like all six or seven of us meet together just to do that part no, I think we if don't. we just assign someone to just do that with you yeah then that way just you and the other person can you know if they say well i'm writing this part does this kind of match up with what you wrote up or whatever i, I think that's a great idea so, hey casey i can uh, team up with you and do that this uh is devin. devin okay um i think that'll be good devin will talk after and find a time that works and we can kind of write out some of that that into human language so yeah that sounds good like, i'm supposed to be okay uh so we're gonna have Mackenzie assign anything that hasn't been completed. Um, Natalie, you're going to make sure all requirements are fulfilled. Yeah, Devin, I'll go through again. You're gonna, and then you're also going to do some spell check, uh, some editing. Devin, yeah. you're going to get with me and, and turn my formulas into human language. Um, who else do we have here? It's me. Keith, <laughs> Keith, Keith, what would you um, like to I do? Can, I can uh, write he the user's hurt. In yeah. stories for travel to a new planet and view map. Okay, that'll work. Just just get with Mackenzie and make sure make sure those, some of those are done. That'd be perfect. Okay. Okay. Um, what other questions do we have? Any any um, questions about the game? Kind of the ideas we've had for it, or any ideas you guys want to bring or change? Um, I think so far, like the whole idea of the game is really good. Um. I guess just like, because at this point, we're not like, it's not like set in stone, you know? Correct. Like, we're... this is just the, basically, this is like if you had a client and you were going to sell this game to them and ask them whether or not you could build it, that's what we're doing. And so I think that, exactly. you know, it can, and it says in the, in the assignment that it's, you know, it's bound to change is 
you as you build the game and stuff. So I think we've got a pretty solid idea of what the game should be. Okay. So I think it'd be okay. Um, Cause I think that once we get divided into smaller groups, it'll, it'll be when it starts changing and, you know, yeah. so having a big general idea would be better than having such a specific um, yeah, yeah. idea for when we're splitting off anyway. So okay. Um, anyway, I guess my other, my only other question is, are we planning on meeting tomorrow again or should we just, cause I mean, if everyone gets their part done by tomorrow, let's say like tomorrow at three or four, then I can just make sure that I, I, you know, I match everything to all the requirements and then um, go through and edit all the wording and then it would be done earlier in the day rather than cramming at the very end. Yeah. Well, someone was asking if we were going to meet again because they weren't able to make it to this one. Mm -hmm. I don't remember who that is. Um, so I guess, I guess it's up to the group as a whole. I mean, obviously we could do another session and anyone that is already has a task or complete a task doesn't have to come. And, and we, and like me and Jen could do one to make sure anyone else that's part of the group that hasn't been able to be here could get assigned last minute things. Mm -hmm. but, if anything, you know, I could, I could even like meet with whoever didn't get a task for this time yeah. and they can, just, they can just share a screen with me and we can go through it and read it out loud and, you know, to each other and then just make sure that it makes sense. Yeah. So, um, I guess it's up to the group. I'm okay with meeting again at the same time right after work. I can do that. Um, but if we don't need to meet, there's, I mean, it's, it's some, it can be a little bit of a hassle sometimes. So if we don't need to meet, it's not necessarily needs to happen. Um, um, do we have all of the descriptions assigned out to people? What we did was, I think you missed the beginning. Mackenzie's, yeah, sorry about that. Mackenzie's going to spearhead and take lead on that. And she's going to okay. make sure that they get assigned or handled. So she's going to either ha assign she them to people. people. Work together. She's either going to assign them to people or complete them. Is okay. That... I think if I think if we just assign Keith and Mackenzie, because there's not a ton of them that are missing, is there? Yeah, there's just a couple, I think. Yeah, so I think if we just have Mackenzie and Keith talk to each other and split those up. That's okay. perfect. Yeah, we can do that. I you... think that'll be easier than just waiting. So I think you... if you and Mackenzie just want to, you know, even just if you just call them on your on the Google Doc, just like highlight it and say, I'll do this one or whatever. And then that way you just know that it's getting done. You guys yeah. okay with that? So so right now we're just doing a general outline of the yeah. end yeah. of the so story, right? Because the story is like a general, general idea. Yeah, because um, after this week, we're going to be splitting into smaller groups. Yeah, Actually so start, I think if it's specific, game. then it'll be yeah. harder when we actually get our groups to know what everyone else is talking about anyway. If we were so, building a change, building, so. we would be making the blueprints. Yeah, so it's just very, very basic. It's like backbone structure. Um, I'm sorry, I think I've, I've hurt us, hurt some of people because I started writing code because um, I wanted to see if the things we could do were possible and I'm, I apologize So Casey, that. <laughs> so Casey, no, that's fine. You, it seems like, do you already know uh, how to write in Java? Yeah, I, I spent the first couple of weeks kind of learn how to do it. it I, I've done a lot of different coding things before, so it was easy to pick. I guess not necessarily easy, but I, I understand some of the logic behind it. Once you learn a couple of coding languages, it becomes really easy to learn another one. I still have a <laughs> lot to go. Like every time I want to do something, I have to look it up and research and figure out how to do it. Mm -hmm. Um so, but I mean, it looks good though. So far, it's kicking back the right stuff. Thanks. Um. So I mean, but I can. Yeah. I can handle it. Um. But yeah, so yes. Cool. Yeah. Well, I think if we get okay. that done, can we just have a goal of having it ready by like by tomorrow at three? Is that like a realistic goal for everybody? Yeah. Three. Like what, three what time zone is that? Three Mountain yeah, Standard, so like mountain, four Central. Okay. okay, that works. Is that okay? And then that way, um, Jen, if there's anyone that contacts you about joining the group again, you can just tell them to meet with me at four o'clock that'd be and, perfect okay and then that way we'll just go through it they they can just get the the editing task and they can just say that they did that at the i end. think there's two other people who are not that have not been involved um that that have expressed interest mm -hmm. so um if we yeah. need to we could do a, a third meeting with just them as well jen like me, yeah. you and them and that's it and just kind of give them a couple busy work tasks that was <laughs> so too. They have something either uh, way 
We'll see. I'll, I'll, either way, I'll probably be doing that at four and getting ready to submit it by like five o'clock. Let's assume we're not going to do another uh, session unless someone expresses interest to do one. How about that? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, we'll we'll be try and have everything ready by three tomorrow, and then yeah. we can kind of look over it and we can all agree so, it's good to turn in. Three mountain no. standard time. Okay. Yeah, I think that's technically okay. mountain daylight don't... time. We're in daylight right now, so it's technically <laughs> mountain daylight time. <laughs> I, I usually just say mountain time anyway, so but, whatever Rexburg, Idaho time. <laughs> but we have enough time that once it's ready, we can we can say, hey, everyone, um, everything's done. Uh, is there anything last that you really want to add in? Give them like an hour. If no one responds, then turn it in. You know, for example. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll I'll make sure that I have all of my editing and the like matching the requirements and everything by five o'clock mountain time, and then. Everyone will have until six to review it, make comments, and I'll be, you know, watching it and stuff. And then, if no one has commented anything by then, then I'll just submit it. That's perfect. Okay. Um, so we're each supposed to submit our own version, right? Well, I guess I can. I guess I'll email you guys to let you know that. It's done, <laughs> so you can okay. I think you submit one, and you just have everyone's name attached to it. The teacher can figure it out. Are, um, are, I, think I think we're supposed to do individual each, each of you turn it in, and then you, at the very end, you have to say which part you did. Right. Here, I'll look it up real quick. <laughs> yeah, we're, it's supposed to be individual. Yeah, you each turn in one, and then you're supposed to either highlight the part that you wrote, mm -hmm. or just at the end mention what task you had at the game. I mean, uh, at the for the project. It says right there the assignment for this week. It was on the oh, announcement. Sorry. Very Take good. It, it says the assignment for this week is to create a document that contains the user stories for the game. Each of you must submit a copy of the document highlighting your contribution. Okay, so we each have to submit uh, one. Uh, so I guess if you, you don't can feel just like... download it from the Google Doc. I'll make yeah. sure that I by six o'clock it'll be done. Okay. Six o'clock um, mountain time, you can okay. download it and it'll be, that'll be the good. final one. Uh, Jen, if you could post those times and stuff on the main sure. forum, just so everyone's on the same page. Yep. Um, that's perfect. They can um, so they can make sure they get something. Yeah. Anyway, I think that would be good. If if anything, we can keep texting and emailing. Is there anybody else that needs to be on the text that's not? John's not. Sorry. I'm not on the text line. Is that uh? That was Devin. This is Devin, sorry. Devin. Um, there's Jake. Devin, what's your... Let me open it up. I'll add you right now. Um, holy crap, I got like a billion tests, texts. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you're in like three different group classes uh, where you have to have... Devin, what's your phone number? <laughs> right, it's 208. 208. 724. 724? Yep, 4982. 4982. Okay. Technically, it creates a new group every time we have to do this, but it's fine. Um, okay. Uh, Is that an iPhone? <laughs> no, it's a Samsung. Okay. I have an iPhone. Um, okay. I, got oh, text. I heard someone's text go off. Um, yeah. uh, am I on that list? I know I gave I my so. number to someone, but... What's, what's your number? What's the first three? Uh, 425. Two seven three. Uh, no, I got four three five five one two two oh eight two oh eight and eight oh one. Yeah, no. Okay. okay, let me add you as well. Um Okay. Okay, what was it? Four two five. Four two five. Two seven three. Two seven three. Eight nine. Eight nine. Eight two. Eight two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think the only other person that's not on is John. But he's he has been a little I don't know. Um, he's on the forum, and that seems to be about it. Yeah, he's emailed me a few times. Um, okay. Yeah, I thought he was going to be here tonight, but um, if there's we, also another member that hasn't responded. Okay. So. Jen, we can try and get with them and maybe do a last minute meeting with them to try and get them to do something. Um, I'll contact him and John and and see. 
let's if, if you guys want to you can just like I'll be, I'll make sure that I have all of my edits done by five but, mountain time and then they you know they can be when everyone's reviewing they can be in charge of making sure that the reviews get put in you know what I mean well I don't think they're on the same page for how the game's gonna go um, I think though. one of them asked how do we walk around on the planet so it's like yeah. I would like to if if we could get with them to as a last minute meeting, describe the game to them because they're going to be going into the game after this anyway. So I'd like to them to understand how the game goes because they're going to be yeah. working on it in individual teams too. So it'd be nice to get them up to speed. Not if not to finish this, but for future going. So um, either me or Jen or someone will, will get with them and try and get a session going for them tomorrow. Probably. Okay. Sounds good. Just okay. let us know if you need anything. Okay. So to summarize, uh, Mackenzie and Keith, you guys are going to finish the descriptions. Um, Natalie, you're going to make sure all requirements are filled, do some editing. Uh, me and Devin are going to fill out the equations. Um, Jennifer is going to keep track of everything and be team lead. And I think Scott had to contribute a lot already, so he's good. Um, and we'll try and get the people that haven't to do a couple little tasks. Yeah, Scott went through and and um, commented way before we met today. Yeah, well, he was with us in our first meeting, and he kind of fluff, mm -hmm. fl flushed out a lot of the stuff already, so that's good. he's good. Okay, um, I think that's it then. Okay, any, any last questions okay. or concerns? I don't think no, so. I think we're good. Okay, I'll upload this to Facebook and put a post on the forum once it's done. Okay, take care, okay, guys. Sounds good. Okay. Quick.